Hi there, I'm Jules Clancy. I'm a former food scientist turned extremely simple cooking coach. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to make a, my three plus ingredient teriyaki salmon. So it's a meal so easy. It's going to feel like it appeared on the table as if by magic. Okay, almost as if by magic. So let's jump into the kitchen. So I've got a salmon fillet, frozen salmon fillet, or you could use fresh. And then 200 grams, so seven ounces of frozen cauliflower rice, or I could use other veggie rice, and then a tablespoon of teriyaki sauce or teriyaki marinade. And then I'm just going to roast that in a hot oven, so 250C, which is 480F, for 10 minutes. So when the salmon is cooked and the rice is hot as well, and this would be, is perfectly delicious to eat on its own, but I'm going to serve it with some sliced green onion just because I like to have green on my plate whenever I'm eating anything, but it's completely delicious without. And make sure you drizzle over any of the teriyaki juices. So if you love this three plus ingredient recipe, make sure you download my free app. So it's uh, called Stone Soups, uh, Stone, Stone Soup Dinners. And so and it has like hundreds of simple recipes and I new, add new ones every week. So you just need to go to thestonesoup.com forward slash app and you can grab your free copy. And if you want some ideas on how to mix up this teriyaki salmon. So one of the things that makes stone soup really unique is that I always include variations. So if you don't have a particular ingredient or you've got certain dietary requirements, you can adapt the recipe to suit you. Uh, so the teriyaki salmon, salmon is really beautiful with this, but of course other protein types. So chicken thigh fillets is my favorite because they just tend to have the best flavor and they'll stay moist, but you could use breast fillets if that's all you had. You could do like teriyaki sausages, which wouldn't be traditional, but it would work really well with sausages. You could use pork, you could use um, meatballs, teriyaki meatballs. Actually, that's, that sounds really good. Uh, burgers and what else? Chickpeas, really good with teriyaki. Oh, I mean, and actually tofu works really well because the teriyaki sauce, because it's got so much flavor to it. It's got that sweetness. It's got that umami. It's a really beautiful combo with, with um, tofu. Or if you eat tempeh, that could be another option. Oh, and actually I think teriyaki eggplant would go really well. <laughs> Um, so that's different protein options in terms of different veggie options. I've used cauliflower rice because it you know has that that vibe. But I've also made this with frozen spinach when I just wanted some greens with it, and it was like just really delicious. So you just put the little things of frozen spinach on the tray and they'll cook in about the same time as the salmon um, or you could use any other greens um, frozen green beans or frozen peas will work really well here as well and you just pop them on the tray from frozen so yeah or, and the other option that's work that's really beautiful with the teriyaki sauce is finely shaved cabbage a cabbage just chopping up white cabbage with a knife and pop, popping it on the tray or if you just buy a bag of uh, shredded cabbage and, and pop that on that, that that will work really well and then in terms of the teriyaki sauce if you don't have a commercial teriyaki sauce you can make your own and I um, I usually use like a combo of uh, maple syrup and soy sauce and that you know kind of covers the sweet and the umami flavors uh, sometimes I put some rice vinegar in it as well but these days I tend to buy it just I, I buy a commercial teriyaki sauce just because like they use some thickeners and it's just a bit easier and it just it tastes really delicious and because you're only using you know a tablespoon or two of it it's not like you're using a lot but if you do want to make your own teriyaki sauce I will include um, with the written recipe I'll include a, an actual recipe for you to do but you could just use equal parts i'd probably just as a guest just use equal parts maple syrup and soy sauce that would be, or honey and soy sauce that would be a good place to start and other sauce like if you didn't want it to be sweet you could just use soy sauce i've, I've done that met plenty of times um if you wanted it to not have the sugar there or oyster sauce is another one that would work really well or hoisin or if you had sweet soy sauce that could be that could work really well so heaps of different sauce options there um, so yeah. And then in terms of plus ingredients, um, yeah, like I've used green onion because 
I like I needed to have something green with it, but you could use you know coriander, cilantro. It could, you could use mint that can work really well. You can just leave out the thing and just use the three ingredients of the. Um, I've I've done that plenty of times, and it's it doesn't look as pretty, but it's super delicious. And then in terms of other plus ingredients, if you wanted some crunch, uh, you know, some nuts would be really nice, or some sesame seeds. Or to, for a bit more of a Japanese feel, like toasted nori sheets, like that you used to make sushi, like just chopping them up into fine strips and sprinkling them on can give you that, like just a bit of interesting texture and a bit more of a that umami flavor, that saltiness. Um, sesame seeds, I think I mentioned. The other thing I sometimes do if I really want a flavor explosion is to use one of the Japanese like rice seasoning sprinkles. So something like sashimi togarashi, which has like some chili to it. Um, so that can add and, and sesame seeds as well. Like that would add, that add, adds like an extra um, element. Or uh, my other favorite is furikake, which is another like rice seasoning thing that has seaweed and, and sesame seeds. And just, it, it's yeah, like just has that beautiful, like extra umami and chili is really nice with this. So if you didn't have the togarashi, like Japanese chili, just any fresh chili sprinkled over or dried chili flakes from you know, any, anywhere would, would work really well. Or the other thing that I really love with this is completely untraditional um, would be like pickled jalapenos. Cause they just have that, they have that acidity at that fresh heat that I think works, contrasts really well with that kind of sweet saltiness of the teriyaki sauce. So, uh, but of course you won't find any uh, pickled jalapenos in Japanese restaurants. Oh, actually pickled ginger is really good with this as well. And if you live in Australia, um, butter and ginger, they make this amazing sushi ginger that you can just buy at the supermarket um, that doesn't have any sugar added to it. And it's really delicious. So that like, cause that, that ginger gives you that freshness and, um, and that lift and it goes really well with this dish. So I'm glad I remembered that one. <laughs> okay. I hope you found this helpful. Um, yes. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment if you've enjoyed it and also make sure you go and grab the, the free app. So yeah, head over to the stonesoup.com forward slash app. And I add new recipes to the app every you, most weeks. So, and tell your friends about it. Okay. Have a beautiful week and I'll catch you next time.